Thank you very much. Uh, and let me begin by, by acknowledging a many, many thank yous. Uh, first of all, uh, I do want to thank Paula uh, for that really very kind introduction. You know, Paula's been with me since I first started this political journey back in 2012 when I ran for a state house race. Uh, and, and I will tell you there's no one, no one just more dependable uh, than, than Paula and, and someone who just, uh, <laughs> that's right, Bob, amen. Uh, and, and someone who I can just count on and trust. Uh, you know, I, I can't come up with enough superlatives to say how much I, uh, how close I feel toward Paula and how much I'm, I am so thankful to have her uh, as part of you know, my political team. And so, Paula, I just want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for everything you do. Thank you. I want to thank my campaign manager, Leo Haggerty, who did a tremendous job under really impossible odds. I mean, I think we, we have to acknowledge that this was a tough race from the very beginning. Uh, we, we had Colonel McGrath get in, and, and she became a national celebrity overnight, uh, uh, just someone who caught the eye of the nation. Uh, and then we had a very popular mayor who's done a good job for the city in Jim Gray. Uh, and even despite those circumstances, you know, my campaign manager, Leo, just you know, went through all of that, you know, just pushed his way through, and did everything possible to, to put me in a chance, put me in a position where I had a chance and could be successful, and, and, and just did a, a great job. And so, Leo, I owe you a, a tremendous thanks as well, because Leo also you know, has been, a very, been very much a part of my campaign team from the very beginning in one capacity to another. So, Leo, I thank you very much. You did a great job as a campaign manager, and, and I can't thank you enough. I want to acknowledge uh, personally two other staff members, uh, Quinn Welch, my deputy uh, uh, finance manager, and David Weldon, my call time manager, who kept me on task uh, and, again, just helped me constantly day in and day out for the last 11 months uh, do all I needed to do, again, to try to put myself in a position to win. So, Quinn and David, thank you again for all of your help. Thank you. And then all of you uh, volunteers uh, you know, who you know, I would see every day who, was, who were always there making phone calls, writing letters, uh, putting together envelopes, stuffing envelopes, reading emails, answering emails. You know, there are really too many of you to name. And I, and I want to tell the pub public that I had a tremendous array of volunteers and I'm looking at you now, and so I will tell you just how appreciative I am, how much you mean to me, and, and how you can always be assured that if I can help you in any way possible, I will be glad to do that, because you were there for me, and I want to be there for you. So, so to all my volunteers, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart. I'm just, just immensely grateful for your help, and again, thank you. I must thank our, our hosts for the night, uh, T.D. Young and Carl White. Carl, you over there. I've kind of lost T.D. and all the lights. Um, but, but let me thank them for hosting this event and, and, and again, you know, putting in their own resources to make this a successful uh, evening. I see T.D. in the back. T.D., thank you, and Carl, thank you for, for, for hosting this, and I, I really appreciate all you've done. Uh, and then last, but certainly not least, my own family. You know, my, my mother, Wanda Thomas, uh, mom who, who, as I said, on the campaign trail, you know, taught me uh, moral values and taught me you know, how to do things the right way, you know, and, and inspired me to achieve and be successful. And, and mom, as you know, I wouldn't be where I am without you. You, you, you took on the, the really hard, unexpected task of, of, of being a single parent after the death of your husband, after we lost my father, and yet you persevered onward 
uh, for me and, and for your daughter, my sister Rose. And, and Mom, you have been really a remarkable woman, a one of a kind. And so thank you, Mom. And then my three children, only one of here who tonight. Um, but I have to read this, if, if you will indulge me just a minute. This is, this is a text that, that I got. Oh, don't tell me I lost it. <laughs> I've, I've gotten so many texts today. But my son sent me a text, and let me paraphrase this. He said, Dad, we love you. You, you have been a wonderful role model for us. Uh, we're so proud that you've run this race. No matter what, a, no matter what the outcome, Dad, the fact that, that you got into this race makes you victorious uh, and a winner in our, in our sight. And that's what, he, that's what he sent me around 9 o'clock this morning. And I, and I told him, I sent him back a text right away to, to him and um, my son and daughter. I said, Leonard, you bring tears to my eyes by, by making those comments. I said, I'm just so proud of you children uh, because you guys don't you know, have listened to what your mother and I tried to teach you. You followed it. Um, and, I'm, and, I'm, and, and I just love you guys so much. And I, I, I really... You know, Chip, do love you and Joanna and Philip so much. So I, I want to thank you. Uh, and I'm not done yet with my family because I have a wonderful daughter-in-law, Ashley. Um, and Ashley, I don't, I don't know if, if, if you noticed, uh, but, but this year, you know, I really tried to step up my game as a father-in-law. Um, <laughs> uh, and, and, and make it clear how much Ashley, I love you, that, that even though you, are, you, you might, might, might be legally a daughter-in-law, you really are a second daughter to me. And, and I want to say publicly, Ashley, how much I love you as my daughter, okay? Uh, and and I've, I've always said you've done a wonderful job teaching and raising and training my, my grandchildren, my da granddaughter Rosalind and Abigail and my grandson Henry. I'm just really blessed, everyone. I'm just really blessed to have such a beautiful family. So, again, I want to thank Chip Hughes, representing your, your, your sister and brother, Ashley, as, as, as my second daughter, uh, and my wonderful grandchildren, Rosalind, Abigail, and, and Henry. Thank you all for coming down here to Louisville tonight. I know I'm talking way too long, but I do think at a time like this, you have to tell people thank you. You, you, you have to acknowledge, you know, uh, the fact that they've been there for you and that you appreciate them, that it means something uh, to them. So I apologize for a lengthy thank yous, but it, 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 it's so important that I say this. Uh, also, I, I have to acknowledge that my best friend from college uh, is here, Gary. So, Gary, thank you for being here. He flew all the way here from San Francisco just to be here tonight. He said, Reggie, no matter all, what the outcome is, you're my best friend. I call him my twin brother because he looks alike. But, but, but I, I want to thank him for coming. So, Gary, thank you. Okay. Being an elected official and being in the legislature, I have to acknowledge a couple of colleagues of mine who are also friends, in the real sense of friends who are here tonight. Uh, representative Susan Westrom, who's my representative uh, from 79th. And we've got to get behind her so that we can return her to the house this year. And I told Susan I will be walking for her come, come of the fall. And then my other dear friend, who I've known through my mom since we were children together, Representative Derek Graham from Frankfurt. Derek, wave your hand. We have, we have to get behind and support them because they do represent us, and I do mean us. Not if they don't represent us in the district. They represent us in terms of our interests, you know, what we value, what we think is important. Susan and Derek do represent us, and so we have to support them because they support us. And that really leads me into my, my final commentary, and then I'm going to, to sit down. And that is that... <laughs> No, I don't think I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. But 
But this campaign really was about you, about us, uh, and the fact that you know, we have to, as Americans, stand up and say that what we see now, you know, in light of our president, in light of our senator Mitch McConnell, in light of Andy Barr, who defers and, and, and follows in lockstep everything they do, we have to change that, folks. We have to change that uh, because America is really going in the wrong direction. Uh, and, and if we don't do something soon, we will not have a country that not, not only we will no longer be proud of, but that our children and our grandchildren will, will not have the opportunities and dreams that we have had. That's why I got in this race, because I looked at what was happening with Donald Trump and Andy Barr, and I said, something's got to change here, and maybe I can be that change. You know, as we found out tonight, I won't be that change. But I do want to be part of that change, okay? And I respect our democratic process. I respect our democracy. And what I don't want to see is us lose that democracy. And if we don't step forward, we will lose that democracy, people. And I know I'm being, this is being aired publicly, but I'm going to tell you, there are those on the other side that don't want us to have a democracy, okay? And, and so it doesn't have to be me. You know, it, we don't know who the outcome will be. It may be Colonel McGrath. It may be Mayor Gray. But we have to step forward and be a part of that group that says, no, you will not prevail in your efforts to defeat the freedoms and, and the rights we enjoy as Americans. Okay. Okay. So I would encourage all of you, as I'm going to do, that whoever wins this Democratic primary tonight, let's go support them. Because that Donald Trump, Mitch McConnell, Andy Barr, uh, 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 that, that entire group has to go. You know, that, that, that front, that's the... That front that is determined not just to take America back, but to take us backwards to, to a time that, that we do not want to see, we do not want to experience. So I'll just say, I'll just leave it at that, that, again, we've got to now come together as a Democratic Party, you know, get behind the winner, and defeat Andy Barr this fall and send them home. So, so once again, we can have a, our country that we love, we can be proud of and have a country that will allow those who come behind us, the next generation and next generations, the opportunity to have, again, the kind of life that, that we've enjoyed. So thank you all for coming. You know, I wish you were under different circumstances, obviously, but you know, it, it was up to the people, and we have to honor, again, our democracy. But again, from the bottom of my heart, I love you, I thank you, I embrace you, and we will move forward for a better day in America. Thank you again. Right.